set up a measurement. Welcome! In this video you will learn how to set up a measurement and how to record and save it. At first choose your patient and tap on select. Now you will see an overview of all examinations. With measure you can add a new measurement. With schedule you can add a new long-term measurement and with therapy you can add a new biofeedback training. Tap on measure. Now you need to do six steps. First preparing electrodes. Second attaching electrodes on patient. Third connecting cables. Fourth turning on measurement device. Fifth Attach device on patient if needed. And sixth, connecting USB cables. After doing these six steps, tap on the screen. This will bring you to measurement preparation. On the top right, you can specify vigilance, nutrition, and cannula status. After tapping record, Reingest starts detecting swallows automatically. The measurement can be recorded for up to 8 hours. The three curves represent the measurement. The red curve stands for bioimpedance. The green curve represents EMG. And the orange curve shows the breathing. Please notice that breathing is optional and is not required for swallow detection. Any changes in tongue or pharyngeal activity manipulates the bioimpedance curve. Any movement of the larynx, for instance talking or coughing, changes the EMG curve. Only EMG and bioimpedance change in a specific way an intelligent algorithm detects the swallow. A swallow will be highlighted in blue for faster identification. Every single swallow is evaluated on elevation speed, maximum elevation and duration of the elevation to the maximum of laryngeal movement. Rear ingest gives a specific range if the swallow was not at all like a healthy swallow, colored in red. Partly like a healthy swallow, colored in yellow. Or just like a good healthy swallow, colored in green. The evaluation of each swallow is done in the background. A growing database with thousands of healthy swallows compares each parameter and gives information about the quality. These information about each swallow support the therapists with data about the progress, status and limitation of the patient. On the top right hand side you can make annotations like salvia, liquid, semi-solid and solid. It is important to set up the correct annotation because the rating of elevation, speed and duration of the swallow depends on it. You can change these annotations at any time. If therapy is over, tap stop and confirm the completion of measurement. You are automatically guided to the result screen. Here you see an overview of average speed, elevation and duration of the recorded swallows. If the record was longer than 5 minutes, an average swallow frequency will be shown. To get in detailed information of every single swallow, tap on Detail. You can export this detailed measurement results 
as PDF. To do this, tap on Export, choose the folder, and the PDF will be generated. Now go back to the overview and tap on Replay. Here you can see the recorded measurement. Move through the timeline, either grabbing the curves and moving to the left or to the right, or use the arrows on the bottom to jump from swallow to swallow. If you want to see the physiological process, look on the top left. You see a 3D animation of the swallow. To zoom in, tap on the four arrows. If you want to slow down the speed, tap on speed and loop the next swallow. Now you see in slow-mo the current swallow. Please notice that this is an animation of the actual elevation and speed of the larynx and not just a video. You can also change the perspective. Tap on front to see the animation from the front. To get a better understanding you can also tap on cross section to get a section of view. Thanks for watching. Learn next how to set up a long term measurement.